Today, we're going to learn how to add and subtract integers. But before we do that, let's take a look at the definition of an integer. So an integer is a whole number that can be positive, negative, or zero. So the key words here being whole number, positive, negative, or zero. So if you remember, that's the positive sign, that's a negative sign, and that's zero. When you're working with integers, it is always a good idea to simplify the signs in front of the integers. So let's say you have a positive sign beside a positive sign. We would actually simplify that to a positive sign. I like to remember it like this. When you have a happy person with a happy person, guess what? The overall mood is going to be happy. Let's take a look at another scenario. Let's say you have a positive sign beside a negative sign. That actually simplifies into a negative sign. I like to remember it like this. If you have a happy person hanging out with a sad person, the sad person is going to bring the overall mood down and they're both actually going to be sad. In our last scenario, we actually are going to have two negative signs beside each other. That actually simplifies into a positive sign. I like to remember it like this. When you have a sad person with a sad person, they're going to talk about how sad their lives are. And that ultimately makes both of them happy because when you complain with another person you get things off your back and it makes you feel a little bit better so to summarize when you have a positive sign beside a positive sign it becomes positive when you have a positive sign beside a negative sign it becomes negative and when you have a negative sign beside a negative sign that becomes positive the next thing i want to review is something called an integer number line. Now, some of you may not need to use this. Um, if you do, uh, you can do this on the side of your paper uh, as a rough note. Okay, so we're going to start with a line with two arrows on either side. And in the very middle, you have the number zero. Now to the left of zero, you have negative integers such as negative one, negative two, negative three, so on and so forth. On the right side, you have positive integers such as 1, 2, and 3. You'll notice that the positive signs are not written in. It is considered uh, redundant. Now, when you're subtracting a number, you're actually moving further left on the integer number line. And if you're adding a number, you're actually going further right on the integer number line. I'm gonna show you how to use this more in depth in our next question. In our very first question, we have five plus negative seven. The first thing you'll notice is that we have two signs which are beside each other. We actually want to simplify this. If you remember back to our previous slide, uh, when you have a positive sign with a negative sign, that actually simplifies into a negative sign. So let's rewrite this question into 5 subtract 7 okay now over on the side we are actually going to use a number line to help us solve this so if you remember that's our number line uh, I'm just going to do a rough one so let's put 0 over here we're going to start with positive 5 so positive 5 is somewhere over there now what you're doing is you're subtracting 7 from this positive 5. And when you subtract, you're actually going to the left. So we're going to the left 7 spaces. Now, if you actually count this out, you'll end up somewhere around here. And that is actually going to be negative 2. So your final answer actually is going to be negative 2. And I'm just going to write my final answer over here. And I'm going to put a little box around it to indicate that it is my final answer. 
In our second question, we're going to look at negative 3 plus negative 4. Again, the first thing you want to do is look for signs that are beside each other. Over here, we have a plus sign beside a negative sign. We actually want to simplify that. If you remember, when you have a plus sign beside a negative sign, that actually becomes negative. So let's rewrite our question to reflect that. Negative 3 subtract 4. Some of you may be able to do this in your head. If not, you can do a number line. So let's mark a zero somewhere over here. We actually start with negative three. So negative three would be over here somewhere. We're actually subtracting four from negative three. And if you remember, when you subtract, you're actually going further left on the number line. And we're going four spaces to the left. So if you count that out, you will actually end up at negative 7 over here. So our final answer actually is negative 7. And I'm just going to put a box around that to indicate that is my final answer. In our third example, we have negative 9 plus 8 plus negative 5. Again, the first thing you want to do is you want to simplify the signs. So over here, we have a plus sign beside a minus sign. Let's simplify that. If you remember, we have a plus sign beside a minus sign, that actually becomes minus. So let's rewrite our question. Negative 9 plus 8 subtract 5. Again, you want to use a number line to help yourself solve this. I'm going to put, let's say, 0 over here. We actually start with negative 9. We're going to add 8 to negative 9. And remember, when you're adding, you're actually going further to the right. When you add 8 to negative 9, you're going to end up at negative 1. So let's simplify that a little bit. So negative 9 plus 8 actually is negative 1. And then the negative 5 still stays the same. Let's go back to our number line over here. Once you're at negative 1, you're actually going to subtract 5 from that. And when you subtract, you're going further to the left on your number line. Which means if you count five spaces to the left, you're going to end up at negative six. So our final answer actually is negative six. And let's put a box around it to indicate that is my final answer. In our last two examples, we're going to look at scenarios which include more negative signs. So if you look at our question, we have 5 subtract negative 2. The first thing you want to do is you want to simplify these signs. When you have two negative signs beside each other, that actually simplifies into a positive sign. So let's rewrite our question. 5 plus 2. Many of you will be able to do this quite easily. I'm going to show you how to do this on a number line. It's kind of redundant but I want to be consistent. So let's say zeros over here. You start at positive 5. You're adding 2 to positive 5. When you do that, you're actually going further to the right on the number line. So if you count out two spaces, you will end up at positive 7, making our final answer positive 7. And again, you'll notice that we do not write in the plus sign as uh, that would be considered redundant. In our final example, we have negative 20, subtract negative 5, subtract negative 10. Again, the first thing you want to do is identify places where signs are beside each other. We have two negative signs together here. We have two negative signs together here. As you remember, when you have two negative signs beside each other, that simplifies into a positive sign. Let's go ahead and rewrite this question for ourselves. So that's negative 20 plus 5 
plus 10. We're going to be using a number line to figure this out. So let's just make some room for ourselves. Let's say 0 is over here. We're starting at negative 20, which is all the way down here. To this negative 20, you're actually going to be adding 5. When you're adding, you're actually going further to the right on the number line. If you count out five spaces from negative 20, you will end up at negative 15. So let's simplify that. Negative 20 plus 5 happens to be negative 15. And the plus 10 stays the same. Now that you are at negative 15, we're going to add 10 to this. And when you're adding, you're going further to the right. Let's count out 10 spaces. This isn't exactly to scale, but you get the idea. So if you count out 10 spaces from negative 15, you will end up at negative 5. Meaning our final answer is negative 5.